monthly trade review process. Your system can either be good, average or bad, but every system can be improved. Trading robots are getting improved and smarter every single day. Someone is implementing new ideas every single day. So why should you be different? You need to fully understand and get an idea of what you should test, add or remove from your current strategy to always get better results. Step 1. Analyze your current results. Before you start tweaking your current strategy, a good idea is to pull all the rules on paper and write down all the steps that you are following before and when you are in the trade. Another good idea is to start trading on a demo account for minimum of 30 days and get between 20 to 40 trades that you can analyze for improving on with later trading. If you want faster moving data to study, you can use a market simulator on MT4 or other similar software. Step 2. Study your data. When you have 20 to 30 trades, you can start making a study of what you can improve on in your trading. You can search for what pairs had made you most profit, what side of the market made you more winning trades, what kind of style made you more money and what time you lost most profits. Now, let's see for each group what is the key thing to watch for and how to improve the data. Most profitable currency. Search all pairs where you had the most consistent profits. For example, you see that you had 8 winning trades out of a total 10 from the EURUSD. Then put this pair in your winning list. Also, keep a list of what pairs lost the most money. For starters, every pair that has a win rate over 50%, you can put in your profitable list and in 2-3 to three months, use only pairs with the 80% win rate from your list. What side made you more profits? Look at all trades that you had to determine what side made you more profits, long or short. If you discover that buy trades made you more consistent profits, try to trade just that side for the next 30 days or use half the risk for the trades taken on the opposite side. What style work better? Assuming that you are like 90% of traders, trading swing and day trading in combination, search if there is some difference in the win rate between trades you take and hold and trades you traded as intraday. When you find what side of the market works better, use that style only for the next 30 days and see if there is some impact in your trading. If in other way you are only going to trade one trading style, what you can do here would be to analyze at different time frames. So for example, if you see that the best results you got on what? On a 15 minutes time frame, you are going to use that 15 minute time frame only for the next 30 days. What time you lose money? A timing study can be hard to explain. However, for this test, I more want to see if there was a news happening while you had your losing trades. Also, you can check what session work best for you and only trade that session for the next 30 days. When you talk about the timing, see if you had a lot of news going on during the period of when you were in a trade, you have on every single Forex calendar that history so you can always find that details. And for the session, just see if you maybe have a better luck in the Asian session or the UK session or the US session. Just because most of us trade at least two sessions. So I want you to work that study also. There are 101 more tasks you can run to improve your trades. Check what FIBO entry worked most. Check what the larger trend direction was while you were holding your trades and so on. Keep in mind that it's not a good idea to test and switch everything instantly. Rather go slow 
and make two changes just based on this data every month. Step 3. Tweaking your current rules. We need to tweak the current rules for the next month of trading. First, write down all improvements from step 2. For example, if you find the most winning trades were long trades and on pairs like Aussie dollar, Euro USD and pound dollar, then make a note that you will only trade the long positions on these pairs. After that, you can look to tweak your risk reward, risk per trade, time and other factors. But overall, I don't want you to change too much rules right away, but I want you to add that parameters like what side you want to trade, what pairs, and when you want to trade them. Step 4. Adding your new rules. Every time you see room for adding something new in your system, you should test it. You have two strategies, one for normal rules and one for improved rules, so that you can continue to track everything well. An idea for adding new rules that you can try is to add confirmation if price tests an EMA plus regular entry rules or RSI needs to point to divergence plus regular entry rules, for example, pattern needs to be flagged plus regular entry rules and things like that. You can do the same thing for an exit strategy. RSI shows divergence and before exit point close the trade. I personally don't need it. You will ever need to add more new confirmation rules or even the exit rules for the NT10X. But if you want to do it, this is the way how to go. So you need to have the clear rule and you need to test it. So test the regular version of the system against that your new improved version. Step five. Always improve more. You most likely, like all traders, won't ever get to a 100% win rate. However, tweaking and improving will give you a much higher winning rate than you usually see at the end of each month. Try to test and make changes to your system every month. Also, try to use fewer versions of your system every single month, so you can be sure which model of your system makes you money and what needs to be improved on. Try different markets, different time frames, different styles. However, once you make money consistently with one system for over three months, you don't need to change and you can then rather just improve on it. Okay, that's all for this video. I'll see you all in the next one.